We've bought a lot of highly rated office chairs on Amazon in the past year, and some have been really good, while others just okay. I recently bought five more highly rated office chairs to see if any of them were better than our current two top picks, the Tacova and Cortina Millette. The Bilko chair currently retails for about $260 and has 900 reviews on Amazon with an average rating of 4.2 out of 5. Now one of the first things that really stood out about this chair was its headrest. And according to the Amazon page, it looks like this was a fairly recent change to their design. The current headrest is very wide with a massive pivot adjustment range. Now the only issue with a headrest for some is going to be the fact that it isn't height adjustable. But because of how wide it was, I didn't notice that there were any uncomfortable pressure points and almost had a floating like hammock experience for my neck and head. You can also pivot the headrest to keep your neck in a more neutral position or allow yourself to pivot to align your neck and head with the monitor when fully reclined. The seat on the Bilco did a really good job with preventing the typical front edge issue that I've noticed on a lot of different mesh chairs with a more suspended feeling from this design. The way of designing the front edge of the frame really reminds me of a Herman Miller Cosm, but of course, not the same level of quality with especially looking at the materials here. Now reclining in the Bilco chair, I noticed this was the only chair that included armrests that moved in unison with the backrest so there was proper arm support maintained through your entire recline. The seat frame on the Bilco included these old mounting holes that may have been from a previous iteration of the chair or maybe just another chair altogether. Attaching the arms to the backrest though on this design allowed the arms to be really supportive no matter where you recline in the chair. The Molens chair currently retails for just around $250, though when I bought it, it was closer to the $290 mark. This is probably one of the most interesting chairs I've tested in the past five to six years, and it wasn't because the chair's design or comfort though. Instead, it was because they included this random note that was attached to the headrest, and the note read, if you're not satisfied with the lumbar support on this chair, they'll send you a free lumbar pad, which is interesting because the chair has an adjustable lumbar support system built in, but it doesn't really do much at the low to mid position. Not until at max height do you really even feel any lumbar support. Ryan has actually reviewed most of these top rated lumbar pillows that you can buy on Amazon and found that they actually do a bit more harm than good on most office chairs. And we've actually seen this really stemmed from how they kind of push you forward in the chair, significantly reducing the seat depth and eliminating any support of the upper half of the backrest. Now, if this was my product, I'd probably just fix the lumbar pad instead of offering this sort of quasi free gift that's only really offered if you don't like the chair and complain about some of that lower back support. The Gabrilli chair currently retails for just over $300, although there are typically quite a few coupons for this model. Now this did feel like a well-built chair for the price point, and at over 9,000 reviews on Amazon, it still has a 4.4 out of 5 star rating. Now while this chair doesn't feel like a $1,000 chair, the molds and consistency of the materials is definitely better than a lot of the other $300 chairs that I've tested. The Gabrilli comes with an adjustable headrest that I found to be comfortable with a ton of height adjustment range. And to be honest, I'm not really sure why it has so much range, but it does look a little funny when it's fully extended. It features flip up arms that are nice if you don't like to use armrests, or sometimes you just need to push them out of the way for certain office tasks or possibly gaming. The problem though, the arms are super wide and even for my six foot frame, it's hard for me to have both arms resting comfortably at my sides and still have proper neck and shoulder support. The arm pads themselves are also really firm, so honestly the armrests aren't that useful when they're lowered into position. I found that the mesh upholstery on both the seat and back of the Gabrilli are what you'd expect from a chair at the $300 price mark. The seat frame on mesh chairs can also be a problem and I'd say that's definitely the case with this chair, especially around the front edge of the chair when seated upright and the back edge specifically when reclined in the chair. Now overall, I'd say it's a little hard for me to believe that this chair has a 4.4 out of 5 star rating with 9,000 reviews just based on the comfort issues that I've experienced personally. Logic Box retails for just over $300 and has an interesting look, I think, compared to the other $300 chairs in this list. I noticed that the pictures displayed on Amazon definitely make this feel chair like it has a bit of a design influence from higher end chairs. Now, when I first sat down in it, I was actually surprised how large the seat and backrest felt. If you have a wider frame, this could definitely be a better option for fit. The Logic Fox also comes with a height adjustable headrest that really didn't seem to get in the way when seated upright, but provided nice support when I was reclined. And of all the chairs in that $300 price range, I think that the Logic Fox definitely had the most comfortable arm pads of the group. 
The only real issue for some might be the actual range of the arms themselves. At the lowest position, they felt a little higher than normal, and at the max height, they were ridiculously tall. Now, this could definitely be a nice feature if you require this sort of adjustment range. After extended use with the Logic Fox, I could really feel the front edge of the seat pan when moving into other padded chairs. The pressure I put on the back of my legs was constant, and over time, this definitely became a problem for me. The last chair in the list is definitely the most expensive and quite a bit over the $300 mark, although when I bought this chair, which retailed at about $550, they did have a $130 coupon. When I look today, it's actually only $50, but I'd keep an eye on this as it seems like they've been attempting to sell more of this newer model with pushing a lot of different coupons. The neutral chair is currently made in Korea, and from my experience, this typically means a higher quality than the Chinese alternatives that we see so frequently on Amazon. Now, I definitely say this is one of the most interesting chairs I've tested on Amazon lately, which mostly stem from the extreme aggressive lumbar support system. Now, there are a few different adjustments with the neutral lumbar support. First, you're actually able to adjust the actual depth of the lumbar, which I thought was pretty cool. You can also adjust the amount of tension or effort required to move the lumbar when you're seated in the chair. Now, if you're like me and like aggressive lumbar, you can lock the lumbar support in an outward position, and this will eliminate its ability to slide in and out. Now, while I really like this aggressive lumbar, I didn't really love how it felt like my shirt was constantly being pulled up my back. The neutral also features a lot of different ergonomic adjustments, adjustable seat depth, a height and pivot adjustable headrest, and three dimension arms with height, depth, and pivot adjustments. It also comes with a super deep recline feature that reminds me of a gaming chair, and the padded adjustable footrest definitely paired nicely when this chair was fully reclined. Now, I'm not really sure if the neutral chair was worth $550, but if you like aggressive lumbar, this might be a good fit. Some of the chairs in this list definitely came with nice features, but I'm not sure any of them were good enough to knock off the Tacova or Millette for my list of best chairs under $300. Thanks for watching.